Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play BTD6 with mods. If you have any questions after watching the whole video, you can join my Discord, which is linked in the description, or you can check the comments. I'll make sure to have a pinned comment at the top of this video with the most commonly asked questions and how to solve those problems. Anyways, let's get into it. To start with, you're gonna need to get a program called .NET Framework. So go to your favorite search engine and type in .NET Framework and then press enter. You're gonna wanna get the one from Microsoft and you're gonna wanna get the one that's recommended. Now you have two choices, get the runtime or get the developer pack. If you ever plan on making mods for BTD6 in the future, get the developer pack. But if you don't think you're ever gonna make mods, get the runtime. If you get the runtime now and in the future you decide you wanna make mods, you can download the developer pack then and everything will still work. So if you're not sure, just get the runtime and deal with the developer pack later. When you're installing .NET Framework, if you see a message like this popping up saying that, you know, this current version or a later update is already installed, that means you've already got the latest version. So you can just close the installer and you can ignore it. Next, we're gonna need a program to open zip files. I use 7-zip, I think it's the easiest to use. So we're gonna go ahead and download 7-zip. Type it in on your favorite search engine, click the first one, and download which one you need. If you have a 32-bit computer, get the 32-bit. If you have 64-bit, get the 64-bit. If you're not sure if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, press the start button and type system. And we're gonna wanna go to system information. Under system type right here, you'll see I have a 64-bit computer. If you have a 32-bit, it'll say 32-bit or it'll say x86 here. x86 and 32-bit are exactly the same. So if it says one or the other, you've got 32-bit. After installing 7-zip, we got to check one setting to make sure it's correct. So press the start button and type in 7-zip and then open the 7-zip file manager. At the top, click on tools, click on options, click on 7-zip and make sure that integrate 7-zip into shell context menu is checked for both of these. This isn't totally necessary, but it's easier because then you can right click on a file and click open in 7-zip or extract. So it's a little bit easier. When you're done with that, click okay and close it out. We've now got the required files in order to play BTD6 with mods. Next, we need a mod manager to play BTD6 with our mods. I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. The first is the easier way, and the second is the manual way that is a little more work. So the easier way is by using BTD6 Mod Manager, a mod manager I created for you guys to make it easier to play mods with BTD6. BTD6 Mod Manager is nice because it automatically installs all the other software you need to play mods with BTD6, and it'll automatically keep them updated. That means you never have to worry about it. Download the mod manager and then you're done. You're always gonna be using the latest and greatest. I'll show you guys that way first. So go to the search engine, type in BTD6 mod manager, click enter and go to the one from Nexus mods. Here's the page with all the information. If you'd like to get the source code or download it from GitHub, you could just go to the bottom and click on this link right here. To actually download it, you'll need to make an account which I recommend you do because all of the BTD6 mods are on this website and they all require you to have an account. Once you have an account, click on the files tab and then click on whichever one here is at the top. Click on manual download, click on slow download, make sure you click save, click okay, and save it to a folder on your computer. Once it's saved, go ahead and open it up. Earlier in the video, we configured 7-zip and this is why. You can right click on the file we just downloaded, hover over 7-zip and click on extract here and that lets you extract it. If for some reason you don't see this 7-zip option here, just click on this path up at the top, right up here, and then open 7-zip, and then paste the path in right here, and it'll take you to the folder. So then all you do is double click on it, and then select all the files, and then drag them into the folder that you want them. And it's the same thing. It's just that being able to right click is easier. The mod manager is now installed, so just open it up, and you can see a tutorial here if you'd like, which will walk you through using the mod manager. I'm going to click no for now. And now you're able to use the mod manager. You can get mods from Nexus mods by clicking up at the button at the top. It'll take you to a page like this and you can click on explore all mods right here to see all the mods. You can just go through that on your own time. When you find a mod that you want to download, make sure that you're logged in on Nexus Mods, then click on the Files tab, scroll down until you see the Main Files section, and click on the Manual Download for whatever is at the top of Main Files. Next, click on the Slow Download button, click Save, and if you're using BTD6 Mod Manager, 
you can save it anywhere. I'm gonna save it to my downloads. Then open up BTD6 Mod Manager, click on the Add Mods button in the top right corner, go to where you downloaded the mod, click on the mod file, and you'll see it got added. Alternatively, you can save it to your BTD6's mod folder. So when you go to save it, go to your Steam apps, go to your BTD6 folder, and you'll go to the mods folder and just save it in here. If you don't see a mods folder, just right click, click new folder, and call it mods with a capital M and an S at the end. As a quick side note, every mod that's directly in your mods folder, so these mods right here, are gonna get used when you run BTD6. This is just how BTD6 modding works. So if you're not using the mod manager and you wanna disable a mod, just put the dot disabled keyword at the end. You can do this by right clicking, click rename, and just add dot disabled to the end. Or what I also like to do is make a new folder like unused and you can just drag the mods you don't wanna use into the unused folder and anything that is not directly inside of your mods folder will not be used. Right now, since I only have these two, these are the only two that are gonna get used. Kind of a side note, but it's helpful to know. So back on topic, some mods also require other mods to be installed. A couple examples of this are Gurren Core and NKHook 6. Mods are built off of those mods, so they need to have Gurren Core or NKHook 6 installed in order to work properly. If you find a mod that does require another mod to work, it might say it in the description, and when you try to download it, you'll see a pop-up like this coming up saying, oh, you need another mod in order for this to work. Once you have the mods, you can enable and disable them by clicking enable and disable. Any mods that are enabled will show up down here. And when you're ready to play BTD6 with mods, just click the launch button at the top. Now, if you don't want to use the mod manager, go to your favorite search engine, type in Melon Loader, click on the one for GitHub, and then click on the releases tab over here. Download whichever one's at the top with the green rela uh, latest release tag right here. You can download the exe file or the zip file. To keep things easier, I'm gonna go ahead and do the installer. So click on it, click save, save it to your downloads folder. When it's done downloading, open it and you'll be taken to a window that looks like this. Click on the select button and then select btd6.exe. If you're trying to play BTD Adventure Time with mods, you would select the BTD Adventure Time exe. Go ahead and click your exe, make sure it says latest here. And I already have Melon Loader installed, so it says reinstall and uninstall, but for you, it'll just say install. If you want to uninstall Melon Loader completely and remove all modding for BTD6, you would do this and click uninstall. So hit the install button and then you'll be done. Whether you're using BTD6 Mod Manager or Melon Loader, you'll still have to run BTD6 once to finish generating the files. When you run it for the first time after installing the Mod Manager or Melon Loader, you'll see a console like this pop up and it's gonna be saying some stuff in it. Just let it finish. Right now it's extracting all the code files from BTD6 and getting it ready so we can have moddable files. When it's done, it'll start BTD6. And if you look at your console, it'll say something like this. Whether you use BTD6 Mod Manager or Melon Loader directly, you'll get this console. BTD6 Mod Manager actually installs Melon Loader for you and keeps it updated. It's easier than having to do it all yourself and update every time there's a new release. But that's the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're able to learn something. Thanks for watching.